Hi guys, Barry here from MTF Coaching Academy with Ali from the Waste Warriors. Now, a bit of a strange video for MTF to be doing. We normally tell you about everything that we're doing in the community, everything good. You might have seen the article in the Birmingham Mail about this pitch here. All right, this lovely piece of land now. We're still tending to it with grass seed and just raking out the, the stones and things, but we're still looking after it along with the Zia Ulama Center. All right, however, however, the great news of turning something derelict and dead and unloved into something that can be used by the community is now being overshadowed by this. Have a look at this. This rubbish here. Oh my days. This mountain of rubbish. Look, Ali's there. Look, look how big it is. It goes from here, from there. Yeah, let's have a look very let's go let's go let's, let's go a closer look at this look at all this rubbish so now was being dumped now trolleys we collected this rubbish or most of this rubbish we will put our hands up we collected yeah. most of this rubbish from over the over the road just there where that yeah. white car is we got it all together and from over there by the yeah. trees we got it all together into one pile along with the litter picking that we did around the streets yeah. and the day we did it, yep. Ali, the main man here, contacted the waste prevention team yep. that is hired by Birmingham City Council to take away waste yep. and love our street, love your street, cleaner Brom. Yep, okay. You know, blue bags. The blue bags the from our litter picking. And, got, and this got shared on Small Eat News on social media. Yeah, it all got shared and it all got sent to the people that needed to know yep. to come and pick it up. Exactly. Two weeks on, guys. Weeks. Look at this. And you know, you know the shambolic thing about it is MTF and Waste, waste Warriors, Warriors Zia yeah. Ulam Centre are being blamed for this rubbish. Exactly. We've not put this rubbish here. All we've done Collected is we've it. got it together for the Boeing City Council to from take, the area to take it. To take. We are not Boeing City Council. And now it's become a fly tipping zone now. Yeah. We're um, not Boeing City Council. Okay. Yeah. We do not control picking up the rubbish. All right, and, we, how long, and how long has it been buried now? Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Right. We, all we do yeah. is we kind of like do the council's job for them, going around doing our community yeah. events. Exactly. All they've got to do is pick it up. So what we've done now, we've gone one step further. We've posted this on yeah. the Fix My Street app. Yeah. It's a fantastic app. If you haven't got it, download yeah. it. Yeah. Whenever you come across any rubbish, yeah. all right, any fly tipping, take a picture, report it. Exactly. But we also can contacted councillor Rashid who is the councillor for this area now the last time I contacted him he got back to me very very quickly very responsive now I've said to him look two days mate we've got to get this shifted it's not fair on the local community and it's not fair on the good work that the community organizations have done to be overshadowed by this mess this absolute monstrosity exactly and it's that just is sad. here it's sad to see, you know, after all the hard work we did in the Barry, we, really got the, we had the kids involved. And, uh, you know, you know, all the kids did hard work that day from yeah. MTF Academy, from the Zioluma. And now, you know, now seeing this site is not nice at all. No. And especially the diseases, the, you know, the, the, rats, the, the rats, vermin. vermin coming around. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and also the football pitch needs to be maintained as well yes 100 percent. and so that's that's what we you know come tonight well to check. i've we, come we, down we came to check the football pitch right yeah we did and, and we still see this here. you know we've spent yeah. about half an hour maintaining this and and just yeah. putting a few tires back up yeah we we know we know what's going to happen you know you're going to get the bad but with the good yeah. all right and we're coming to do good that's now, it we're not here to continually bash the Birmingham city council but what we're doing is hopefully someone in the Birmingham city council sees this video and yeah. goes whoa we failed here exactly. we failed the community exactly but the the, the the unfortunate events is our communities are being failed regularly yeah regularly by people that can influence positive change yeah not only are these community groups like mtf and the waste warriors yeah. and others but the councillors can influence positive change we need a little bit more action yeah. and a little less more talking you know exactly i totally agree and you know also this particular coverage of this uh, football pitch which barry um created right which he started this uh, uh, project uh, amazing project and this got coverage on um, uh, birmingham mail 
if you check that out, it's on Birmingham Mail and also a BBC Radio, you said, right? right. Yes, so the two, uh, two, Imam yeah. from the Zia Ulama Centre was uh, spoke to someone from BBC Radio today. Yeah, in, about in this. Rega- Im- in regards to this. To this amazing football transformation, pitch. Yeah. Transformation from turning it from a. From this, uh, what was it before, Barry? This location. It was just, it was just a land where cars would come and park up at yeah. night and do antisocial behaviour, basically. Yeah. And turn it um, for, for something for the children, you know. For the children, let's give it back um, to the children. And uh, the Charles Road one, guys, I just put it out there. Birmingham Mail also did an article on that, and that has been removed. I shared the images that was on um, all the social media platforms. Charles Road fly tipping, that's been sorted. The resident uh, Shizadu lives right front of the right front of the flight tip he's happy and he just said thanks yeah so we've got one down and this one to go this one's probably bigger than the charles road <laughs> that's, that's bigger than charles road but road. hopefully yeah. now we've sent we've sent like i said we've sent yeah. numerous messages emails phone calls exactly to the different people that are in charge of all yeah. this getting rid of it we, and we, we're sorry to interrupt we made no. e- emails phone calls um, you know, text messages, whatever. We've tried our best, and we're coming out back again to revisit. Barry has a full-time job, and you know he's uh, you know there's so much things, and he has to come back and deal with this as well. You know, it's not fair for Barry, not fair for myself, um, and you know we just want Birmingham Council to please fulfil their promises. Their duty. It's their, their duty. duty to get it's rid of waste. Exactly. And like I said, we've put it there. Yeah. We've collected it from the area. We've put it in one spot. Exactly. Come and get it. Yep. It's easy. That's We're not asking it. you to go six, seven different spots. One spot. Come and get it. Yep. Guys, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you, man. All thank right. you, man. Ali. All the best, man. Top man. Thank you, guys, all. This and is not you... going to stop us from doing more community We're events gonna... and community yeah. cleanups. Exactly. We're going to make a positive change in this area, but come and join us, especially exactly. if you're in this community. Yeah. Don't sit behind this screen and talk and moan. Yeah. Come and do something about it. That's all it. Join right? us. Join us. Power yeah. in numbers. That's it. All right, and we can really make a difference. Definitely. Guys, take care. Thank Look you. after yourselves. All the best.